Okay, so this is the Home Assistant Green as it arrived on my doorstep. A nice little compact box. Let's open it up, see what's in there. All right, oh good, a st sticker, yeah. Cool, little Home Assistant sticker. Hello, this is Home Assistant Green. So some instructions and warranty information. Cool. Uh, let's see. Here's the box itself, or the actual device, I guess. Let's open that up. Okay, looks like the bottom is a heat sink. That's pretty cool. Other than that, looks like a pretty normal looking device. Ethernet ports, some USB ports, HDMI looks like. I think that might be an SD card. And power. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I like these little touches. Look, they have a little Home Assistant shaped cutout in the cardboard. Yay. Okay, cables. Okay, so this is um, an Ethernet cable. Cool. Let me guess. Oh yeah, it says right here, power supply. Okay, and yeah, just a little wall wart with uh, all the international adapters. This looks like the US one. Let's pull that out. There you go. Yeah, well, that works pretty well. Okay. Well, that is what is in the box. Exactly what you need, nothing that you don't need. Okay, now let's hook up the Home Assistant Green. So we've really only got two ports that we care about, the Ethernet port here and the power cable here. Uh, so first, let's hook up the Ethernet cable. And the other end of this should just hook up to a spare port in your router or if you've got mesh Wi-Fi, um, whatever, whatever connection you need to get it connected to the LAN. It doesn't have Wi-Fi on its own. Uh, once that's connected, then uh, we just need to connect power. Now we can watch the LEDs on the front of it as it boots up. And it looks like we've got activity. Green and yellow LEDs blinking. We're supposed to just wait until the yellow LED starts bl blinking regularly. Okay, let's switch over to our browser. And let's see if we can get any activity here. So I'm just going to homeassistant.local colon 8123, which is what it says in the browser, or in the, uh, sorry, in the instructions. There we go. Took it a couple minutes. Okay, so it came up and it says it's preparing Home Assistant. I'm going to assume that means it's downloading the latest version of Home Assistant. Okay, so after about five or 10 minutes of waiting, um, the screen changed to this. So let's go ahead and create my smart home. Let's go ahead and start by typing in my name. Username.
I think none of the actual values here matter, just as long as you remember your password and probably your username as well. Next, we'll put in our location. All of this stuff you can change later on. Help us help you. So this is just uh, info that they're going to send back to for their information, like usage data, things like that. It's up to you whether you choose to do any of this. Uh, and then it tells you that, hey, there's some compatible devices already on your network that it's detected. So we can finish those up later. For now, just hit finish and it takes you into your very basic Home Assistant setup. On this channel, we're gonna be using an add-on to Home Assistant called ESP Home pretty frequently. Uh, ESP Home is an add-on which allows you to create custom hardware devices. And it's gonna be kind of a cornerstone of, of uh, what we're gonna be doing on this channel. So I already have added this add-on uh, to my Home Assistant instance, but let's walk through how to add it as if I didn't already have it here. So first we're gonna go down to settings in the lower left corner. And we're gonna scroll down to add-ons. And you can already see I, I have a couple of them already installed, one of which is ESP Home. But let's go ahead uh, and pretend like that's not there and to add it, we would go down to in the lower right corner here to the add-on store button. So click that. And then we're just gonna search here for ESP Home. Here we go. So there's a couple of flavors here. Um, there's a beta and dev. So these are, these are ones that are basically under development. We don't wanna use those we want to click on the one that doesn't say beta or dev in it. That's just the regular release of ESP Home. That's what we want to use. So you just click on that. And I have uh, a link here that says update because again, I already have it installed, but on your system, uh, this will probably stay, say install. So just click that and it will open up a dialog and install it. You just give it a few minutes to download itself and install. And then when it's complete, you'll see uh, an entry in the left hand column uh, of Home Assistant like this that says ESP Home Builder. That means you're done. So at this point, if you followed along with the video, you should have a working Home Assistant install with the ESP Home add-on installed to your Home Assistant green. This is the platform we're gonna use for the vast majority of the projects on this channel. So you're ready to go. So stay tuned to the channel for uh, excellent new project videos and we'll see you next time.